Good evening, everyone. This is New Sources, the show that we tell it as it is. We have a whole panel tonight, a big panel, and we're going to tell it as it is on New Sources. 8 p.m. on the shop, the highlights. The forensic audit is the one who can uh, actually confirm whether money was lost, whether a crime was committed. In fact, I was quite tempted to look for Fatu Bensuda to put a case against post-election violence in the United States. <laughs> the problem that we've been having right now is that we have a, a regime in power which does not believe or care about the provisions of our constitution. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to New Sources. My name is James Smart. Now, the internal auditor, Bernard Mushere, has stood by his report and presented a concluded report to Parliament. Mushere, who's the internal auditor for Ministry of Health, said responses given by the Ministry of Health to his audit queries were unsatisfactory, saying questions of diversion of funds and misapplication of funds eventually led to loss of public funds. Take a listen. The forensic audit is the one who can uh, actually confirm whether money was lost, whether a crime was committed. But the normal audit only highlights the red flags. Law has not been uh, uh, complied with. The question is, I will also ask, want to ask the parliamentarians uh, enacted this law. What was the objective? It is supposed to prevent something. I presume that, you know. So if it is supposed to, pre to prevent something and then somebody overrides that law, what would be their, their result? So that's why I cannot answer whether it was lost or not. All right, that's where we start the program tonight. Apologies for my friend and brother, Dennis Onsarigo, who's off on leave. But we have a big panel, Ebo panel, starting from my extreme right, Duncan Haemba, KTN, Karibu to the show, once again, Dominic Obala from The Star. Thank you. Ibrahim Moruko from The Star, and our very own Rosina Obala. Ladies, gentlemen, here we are. This man keeps sticking to his words. You know, uh, we keep saying, you know, Money was lost, go and look for it. Duncan, let's start with you. What do we make out of this man, Mushare, and where is going with this? Where is going with this? I think he's reached his end. That is the Senate. The Senate seems to be making progress. The National Assembly that considered itself superior to the Senate, the committee that is supposed to undertake similar investigations are in shambles. Last week, members differed when they wanted uh, the same auditor to appear before them. Uh, some members accused the chair and the vice chair of uh, saying that he couldn't be traced. Mm -hmm. Then they, some members wanted to stage a coup. Then it didn't happen. This morning they were supposed to do the same. The purported list where members had appended their signatures for removal of the leadership. Uh, the mm -hmm. member who was supposed uh, allegedly uh, to be the custodian of the list I showed up and said that there was no existence of such. So, whereas we the Senate, it's yeah. done. Well, we're, we're, the Senate is, is, is making progress. It's making progress. The, the National, National Assembly, Assembly is zero. Is, we're coming to that sort of National Assembly. But well, this, this man, you know, does what no one thought they could do because the government showed up you know, as soon as this leaked report showed up. And they said, there's no money that was lost. And here are the facts. And we had all the government mandarins walking around in every studio saying, the way, this is the audit report, this is the money, and no money was lost. But... Michelle is standing there saying, hang on, your, your answers are unsatisfactory. I, I think Mushere, Mushere is an auditor. The rest of the people who are talking are not auditors. And in audit, it's just as simple. You follow the procurement process. And that is what Mushere has done. You, you advertised, yes. Where is the advertisement? You tendered, yes. Who are the, process, the tendering process and everything. And te audit queries are all about accounting for the process that, that the due process was followed. And as he says, the due process was never followed. And, and, indeed, I, mean, and I stand by Mushere. He knows what he's talking about. Uh -huh. Ibrahim. 
<laughs> my, my interest in this matter is that this is the second time uh, Bushari is appearing in the He was public. giving his full report yeah, today. And to a committee. Yes. You know, strangely, when he first appeared, we have not had a single response from the government. There's nobody from the national government who has come out to either attack or even contradict him. And as we have argued before, and I'll always say, auditing is a science. The only person who can clear the government from this mess is this guy. And he's refused. And he's refused. So that now confirms beyond a shred of any doubt that this was a close corruption. Mm -hmm. Because perhaps you have some light. I mean, you followed this story. And, and money was lost. We, we, money was stolen. In fact, I'm correct. It's not lost. Money was stolen yes. from the public office. And, and you see, this is why the auditor is saying the due process was not followed. Mm -hmm. And if you look at it, in every ministry, you're supposed to follow either the Public uh, Finance uh, Management Act or the Public uh, uh, Management and, uh, disposal, and disposal. Uh, disposal Act. Mm -hmm. So if these two were not followed, whereby the, the due process in terms of tendering and even the way the money was allocated, and they've talked about missed application of money, maybe the money was allocated for this project and it, it went and was used for something else. Because of that, you have to account for it. Because when you do your budget, you said, uh, let's say if you're talking about maybe malaria, uh, we are putting four billion for malaria. You cannot come and tell us that you decided to divert the malaria money for TB, because where was the money for TB? And who gives you authority to do that? And who gives you the authority to do that? And that's why the auditor said there is a forensic audit which is beyond them that now we need ESCC and the other institutions to do. But in first value of the auditing process, this is what they've established, and that's why he's standing by what he, he has so far gathered. Mm -hmm. so, and so the most importantly, by the way. The forensic audit does not uh, veer so far away from the normal audit. Yeah. I think it's just one and the same thing. Mm -hmm. Maybe forensic audit is just confirming, just going through, doing it again. So he mentioned... But, but in, the, the thing is just the same. No, I mentioned in, in January that mm -hmm. he's coming up with now the full report, the full ministry report. Mm -hmm. And obviously, if you failed this one, yes. there's going to be there's bound more problems be bound. In, in, in the other one. I'm just hoping that he doesn't get a lot of pressure for him not to, <laughs> to give the... But, 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 but even look at uh, when the, uh, the auditor does, like uh, Musheru is the auditor for the Minister of Health, he gets the budget as per what the ministry had asked for. So he goes by that to ensure that the money they had asked for is actually used for what it was intended to do. So if he finds that that money was not used, that is why now he's raising the audit queries, which is saying up to now they have not been responded to. That just tells us money that somewhere is... Me. The yeah. reason why I'm saying we might not even uh, go further on this matter, uh, there are two uh, houses of parliament, the Senate and the National Assembly. By and large, there is this perception which the National Assembly has always uh, made it clear, be known, to be appear sort of to be superior. Of course, to me, no, no house is superior to the other. But the National Assembly has, has flexed its muscle to appear like it's the big brother as far as parliament, parliament is concerned. Now, whereas the Senate has moved with speed and uh, done, reached to the level where they've reached, uh, nothing seems to be going on uh, in the National Assembly. And in a few weeks' time, they will be going on a long recess. Now, no, we don't know who will take up the matter and then for prosecution purposes, because the parliament, National Assembly, will still insist its committee, select committee on that particular sector, has to undertake its own investigations. And as it is, that so they have to is call Mushere and everyone else. Again, so it will buy time, and soon after the long recess, the campaigns are coming in. Maybe just to add on uh, what... Uh, and, and, and to continue on this, and you'll be the first to, to go on this. <laughs> so this Musharriman, who has been under pressure to release his report since media broke the corruption scandal at the health ministry and his office, is currently conducting a general and a more complete audit at the ministry. The government has maintained that no public funds were lost, but the internal auditor has poked holes to those assertions. Take a listen. Are there situations where there are two AI holders uh, in a vote, in a certain vote. The law is very clear that there is no divided responsibility. So there's always only one is, AI is, holder. There's, but not, there's nothing like we call, what was that term? A, a, backup, a backup AI holder. A, a position, the CFO uh, in the Ministry of Health, 
has purportedly uh, uh, decided to hold, a backup air holder. There's nothing like that in law. There's nothing like that, because the law is very clear. There's no divided responsibility. All right, Rosnia, first got this. Uh, maybe just to just carry on what I was saying, uh, when uh, uh, Haemba was talking about the two houses, which one has the upper hand to to d divide through this matter. Remember the health issue also touching on counties. As much as the Senate deals with the counties, that is why that me the, the, the select committee that is handling this has an upper hand. And we saw even that during the KQ issue when they came out and say that this is a So on this the, specific the mandate, issue, yes. the, the, the Senate would have an upper hand than the National Assembly? Both, both have equal uh, rights to this. Because remember, the health issue goes to the counties. So, and the Senate is supposed to protect the interests of counties. And this is why the Senate is coming in. In terms of the National Assembly, it oversees the, 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 the expenditure at the national level. And this is the Ministry of Health. So both of them have equal rights to, go, uh, to, to look into this issue. And that's why I was saying, if you go through, uh, when, when the, uh, mini, uh, the Select Committee on Transport was looking into the issue of KQ, and the Senate also did the same through a select committee. Senate came out with a very good report that up to now we are still poking holes on, on what befell KQ. So for me, if the Senate is through, we can still pick up the report of the Senate and just hold the people who are supposed Sh to be should held Should be worried with these multiple investigations at every level, you know, National Assembly, ESCC, TCI, you know, everyone is investigating something, the same thing. I, th I, think, I think the best approach that would have been done was the, the, the multi multi-agency task force that, that it's it makes it easier because everybody knows what they are, they are supposed to do but as it is when 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 they, when they are doing this way the senate and the parliament and uh, and uh, ESCC and then the CID is doing the same thing then you get a lot of confusion and there's there, there, there there's a there's a chance that we might we, we might be lost in all this confusion is, is this but, a scheme is, it, is uh, does it look like a scheme no personally i think so this every good reason for all these guys to be in the style, you know, the National Assembly, the Senate, and everybody trying to investigate. Uh, the reason is, already, as my younger brother here, Dan Kanaramba, is saying, <laughs> it is obvious the National Assembly is not ready to do this job. It is more engaged into games of diversion. Mm -hmm. So, if assuming it was the National Assembly alone, then we are dead in the waters. Mm -hmm. But thank God. There's another superior house called the Senate, or, or less superior anyway, less I'll give everybody's no. due. Uh, the Senate may not, uh, no, the, the Senate has done its job. And through the auditor, we are now know where we are. This is what is called reasonable doubt from what the government said. And uh, the truth of the matter is, since Moshara came out, we have not seen it with the files in the studios anyway. He has been put in his place. <laughs> no, but, 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 but my, 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 my concern is this, that the auditor has done his job. He has said it when the, when the report leaked. Uh, he was brought into, he was called to parliament. He explained himself. He has come back yet again to the Senate and is saying the same thing. Nobody else, I think, has uh, can doubt what Mushere is saying. Mm. He has placed qu audit queries, which, according to him, have not been uh, convincingly answered. Mm. So it means there's a problem. Now the next place, the next step we should be getting into is prosecution. So, so, yes. so we, we seem to be blocked there, Hayamba, that we have no idea how to leave this parliamentary meetings and all these investigations and committees versus committees and committees like the NYS and you don't know when do we move next to money was stolen and this is the person. Precisely should... and that's why you saw the president furiously saying this is a circus, a political circus and the president that's why he said he's feeling pressure on how to tame this uh, monster called corruption because the National Assembly Committee even flew to Mombasa and uh, they went to inspect those containers and there. what happened there it was drama drama galore they've come they already embroiled in fights the senate that uh, is almost mm. at the tail end hasn't even gone on the ground and they seem to be making progress so this is why the president says it's just a circus in the name of carrying out investigations right. or even fighting corruption so that's a very segue into what we're going to discuss next mm. elsewhere and connected to the national assembly parliamentary health committees in complete disarray. Members had wanted to change their chairperson, Rachel Nyamai. The members accused the chair and vice chair of interfering with the committee's work to find real thieves of public funds. Okay, let's take a listen. Well, who chaired the meeting on Thursday? Because we cancelled, the meeting was cancelled. So who chaired? And where are the minutes? 
And the Honorable Dr. Washira Karani yes. has said that he didn't attend that meeting. And you had said that he's the one who has the... the I think we have the crack chair, we have the crack with us. And the Honorable Karani is not... The the Honorable Dr. Who signed, like you have signed it today, so that we can know who was in that meeting. Because personally, I wasn't. Just first, the quality of what's happening in that house is a obviously, obviously. What's happening there? Obviously, as 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 as, as the circus plays out, it plays itself out. The Senate is, is coming out looking like it's more mature than what so it, 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 these guys it, it in Parliament. It is, the, it is the upper house. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it has always been the upper house. It has always been the upper house. So there's nothing in. You there's, people get in problems. No, in, no, no, there, the there's there's no parliament. doubt about yeah. it. Yeah. No, but mm. I think upper house comes with some sense of maturity, yes. some sense of responsibility, not excitement and maybe shouting the loudest. On that score, the National Assembly has performed very badly. But before I go to there, I wanted to respond to the issues around this, this word you guys keep on excusing about circus. Mm. Uh, you I can heard, correct your, yeah, your, young, your, your younger, people, brother. younger brother. Yes. Yes. I've heard people say that uh, what will the National Assembly do? Uh, or uh, why are we wasting time with the National Assembly or the Parliament doing these investigations? Their role is actually not to jail anybody or even to, uh, to prosecute. Mm. Parliament reports are, are, are prepared, presented, uh, recommendations made, then tabled in the House where a resolution is made. And the re resolution is always, uh, it could be good or adverse. So when we say James Matt's store, it remains on the record forever and ever so that your grandchildren will come and know by their granddaddy was I, I, a thief. I, I, so I, I, that I, I alone... To differ with no, them. Please go ahead. No, no, no. Allow me to differ. I, Ibrahim, yes. what does it serve the Kenyan public to remain on record that, I mean, you stole when you're not punished? I mean, you see why corruption is, 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 is being rife in this country? It's because people are getting away with corruption. That's true. It's that people are not getting prosecuted, jailed, and this, the, 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 the assets that they have acquired through corruption seized by this government. It is only then that when that happens that corruption will stop. But if we just say that, oh, the parliament will do that, release reports and recommendations made that vastly mentioned, your name will be on record. How does it help the poor Kenyan? How does it help one? I also disagree with the two because look at the reports that have oh, been adopted. Oh, you disagree with all of yes. them? Yes. Okay. Look at the reports that have been adopted in the house. Remember the, the one for the Youth Enterprise Development Fund. The recommendation was to, to prosecute the, the former chairman and the former CEO, and that exactly happened. We saw ESCC going after them. So we cannot say that the reports which are adopted in parliament are just for the sake of people reading Leave, leave them. me to that. <laughs> Duncan, you can disagree with the three. Yes, I think I want to be on the same side with the, the, the brothers. Because, uh, <laughs> maybe we should interrogate ourselves, how come the one of youth enterprise moved with speed? They are nobodies. Tell us in the history of Kenyan parliament, not even the 11th one, not the 10th, not the 8th, who has ever been prosecuted the big fish. Maybe you can just see the youth enterprise had nobodies, and that's why maybe they are that, that brings out, that it, brings out. The youth enterprise was still in under the devolution. My, my, problem, yes. my problem is this. My problem is this, is that we have, we have a constitution that sets out uh, 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 mandates for every organization Thanks. and every yeah, yeah. office. Yes. Now we have the people with prosecutorial, investigative and prosecutorial powers, hmm. and we have the judiciary to, 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 to handle the cases. Yes. Why are these not act Why are these groups not, not, working. not working? We should leave it to them. Then let's blame these guys for not doing their job. Because as it is, ESCC will tell you that we are holding on because the Parliament is doing this or the Senate is doing that. Why can't we let them do what they need to do and get done with it? But no, Abala, remember a... the, the role of Parliament. The committees are supposed to oversight. Yes. the other institutions yes. and that is exactly what they're doing. Are doing where what we are seeing now like what you're seeing in the in the uh, committee of health is people advancing their interests outsiders have infiltrated the, the the committee to the extent that everybody is now playing their interest within the members and that is why you see to the extent that now the people even want to remove the chair because maybe the chair uh, is advancing interests that other members are also also not benefiting and that is why when you talk about reports that have been coming to parliament by the end of the day well, during the the, the prop uh, period we see we hear so much but at the end of the day the recommendations have, uh, are watered down why 
Why? Because the people who are being in investigated uh, find their way into this committee so that the recommendations that come out cannot hold water. So you cannot use them to, to so, do so anything. So what are we saying in 20 seconds? In, in, in essence, essence, of all these things, what are we saying? Essence, in essence, no. is that le let, let Parliament play, play it. It's so. role, exactly. And, and, and let the investigators play, play their role. And that's what I said. Eh? We, we are not saying anything different from my brothers here. Yeah. We seconds. said the same thing, but I said, eh, so long as Parliament cannot arrest and charge me, mm -hmm. it will remain on record that Smart that is <laughs> was... Does. Yeah, yeah, that's their role. It ends there. Gentlemen, let's switch to another corruption, and this is Ufisadi Chap Chap. Not to impeach Governor Alfred Mutua is hanging on the balance after 31 MCAs took a much urgent trip to Tanzania, <laughs> and that's just a day before the motion is tabled in the assembly. Governor Alfred Mutua is wanted for corruption in his county and has used all possible avenues to escape justice. That's including skipping court dates, failing to appear before Senate committee, among other bag of film tricks. Who wants to go first? Uh, Mutua. <laughs> I think he is best as a movie director. <laughs> This guy has perfected the art of evading the real issues. And he was the first time, shortly after I took office, ESC was investigating him on the, on the, on the purchase of 16 Subaru vehicles. Mm -hmm. for, and since then, he has been in court blocking the ESC from investigating or prosecuting him. Every time that court order expires, he's out of the country. It, another one, a lawyer files another one. He gets it. He gets it, then he comes back then goes around with his shenanigans, and the same thing is happening. Now, ah, he's here. Why, why, why is he, he getting away with this? No, let me... Because they are we, using the <laughs> constitution. Should we, yeah? should we blame the judiciary because so, of So, so who's to blame because, all these fantastic no, things about no, parliament? Maybe that is and, too and, high. That's too high, for example. Mm -hmm. You know, the other day I was listening to... Is this still KTN? He was supposed to appear on the show, on this KTN show, just to discuss the issues around Machakos, with, I think, one of his opponents or one of, you know, some guys from Machakos. He didn't show up. Supposed it's too big to appear on the show with the other small Mere people. Models. Yeah. So to me, that's how I see him. Maybe the guy is too smart for for everyone in this country. No, I think too the, the, the media is handling him with the, with in soft gloves because the media. Uh -huh. Clearly, this is a man who knows that uh, any miscalculation right now. We land him in trouble. Remember, this is not policy, this is public resources. Yes. But you money see, has been public lost. Public resources but look under at the leadership of a charge, politician. No, but look at it this way. First of all, he will need clearance from the ESEC to... But he will do the same thing anyway. He's, no. he's, he's, but he has, he has he's, always... He's the, only, he's the first only. person who took his... I think some, signed something, you know, with the ESEC. I remember something like that a few months ago. Uh, yeah, a a lifestyle audit. Yeah, 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 a lifestyle audit or something, yeah. something close yeah. to that. Mm. But remember, I think even the media has given him uh, so much publicity on the positive side as opposed to the negative side. And uh, even the other day, I was so surprised when I saw the, the governor of Kericho going to, to visit him with his executive members just to learn what is happening in Machakos, and I was wondering, of the is, is that the, the county that can be used as a model for the other counties? It cannot be a it's model. The guy is just too smooth. And uh, by the way, <laughs> too smooth, you know. Uh, these are, uh, you go back to, in time when he was the government spokesman, mm -hmm. always smooth, you know, coming up with very small programs that go nowhere, the hustler type, you know. <laughs> Things that don't achieve anything. And that's how he has managed to govern Machakos County. You build a fake road within three days, a long 50 kilometers of road, three days. You know, chop, chop. That's what he is. <laughs> Hustling. Small things that go nowhere. Uh, uh, that's, uh, uh, I ever want to differ with you. <laughs> no, um, I, I still insist. He's a politician. He's a spin doctor, as you said. Yeah. Having been a spin doctor for 10 years under the Kibaki regime, he's perfected the art of uh, public relations. He's a journalist by profession and now a politician. Mm -hmm. So you can imagine for you to nail Dr. Alfred Mutua, it will take you time. No, and I, you no, 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 him but I, beg, I beg to differ. Yeah, I, also. I, I, I think, I think for, for, for on, in Mutua's case, the, the courts must be, the judiciary must be also playing yes. a role in what And they must be brought to account. Because, mm -hmm. Yes, he must be brought to account. The because judiciary. why? How come that they're able to take Garissa governor to court? Yes. They're able to take uh, uh, other governors to court. Even but they a, are a cabinet take, secretary. Yeah, even a cabinet Macau, secretary. Is taken Michael to court. Kamau is there. Now, how come that Mutua, on whom there's all the evidence, yes. 
they have completed a file, one file, it's already, it's a, at, at least according to my knowledge, that the file is already is, is Ready, complete, yes. tied up and everything. Investigations. In, investigations are already complete. The, 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 the judge, file is done. I saw but, a, the, a, a, but, but the Justice judge, Kihara but, but he's, being given, he's being given injunctions after injunctions. Yes. No, he is seeking he is seeking court orders to stop, stop ESC from prosecuting yes. him. Or investigating it's not, him. It's not that they don't have evidence. Is it he the is lawyers, stopping is them is from Is it the from kind of lawyers he's getting or what? No, it's corruption. Let's just call it by its name. Because the issue is, uh, Motua has violated every rule book in the Public Procurement and Disposal Act, yes. buying second hand stuff for the government. The, those barrels are second hand. Except, except taxpayers' money. No, <laughs> yeah. no but the, no, yeah, that's true. But yes. the law is very clear that you cannot buy a second hand stuff for but, government. Buy, buy, buying buying, a, buying yeah. hundred and something ambulances yes. when there are no hospitals to check those. Are those patients, ambulances yes. there? And are those, those ambulances there in the first place? Another, buying tractors, police cars, tractors, buying police cars for 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 tractors. For, <laughs> this Formula One that has never come. <laughs> the, 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 the studio must cool down because I need to take a short break. But before we go, I'm asking you on Twitter and I'm seeing your response. You're asking if it's the ISMI system to blame for the rampant corruption in government is the IFMI system to blame for rampant corruption in the government. Hashtag news sources at KTN News and at James Martin. Aren't you your thoughts?